Are you having trouble deciding whether to use auto or manual focus? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you which one is the best, so stay tuned. What's up guys, if you're new here, I'm Marisu and I upload content about filmmaking, photography, tutorials, and I even post all my edits in here, so make sure you hit the like button down there. So in today's video, I'm going to explain which is the best option to use in different scenarios. And just to let you know, there's no one setting that's better than the other. There's just pros and cons on each one. In this specific video, I'm going to be talking about the best focus to choose while using a stabilizer. The reason for that is because this is the type of shooting style that people struggle with the most. If you go handheld, you can easily shoot in manual since you have access to your focus as well when you shoot on a tripod. First, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons on each of these options. Not in a gimbal, just in general. The pro of shooting autofocus is that you don't need to worry about setting your subject in focus. All you have to do is point at the camera where you want it to be in focus. Also, your subject is 100% in focus. But the con of using auto is that sometimes it's not reliable. Sometimes I'll be using autofocus and my camera is struggling which to focus on and it keeps setting focus on the wrong thing. Especially cameras that have really, really bad autofocus like the Panasonic. That's why they mostly use manual focus. But if your camera has good autofocus, why not take advantage of it? Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of using manual focus. The pro of using manual is that you have control of your focus. You don't have to worry about your camera freaking out and deciding what to focus on. You as a camera operator have fully control of your focus. The con is that it gets difficult to follow someone while they're walking in the lens, especially using a longer focal length like an 85mm f1.4. Okay, now that I explained the pros and cons using these settings, I'm going to show you the best options to use in these specific scenarios. On some of these examples, it depends what camera brand you have. If you have a Canon like what I'm using, you can most likely choose the exact settings that I'm going to be using. But if you have a camera with really bad autofocus, most likely you'll use manual. So before buying a camera, make sure you do some research on how well your camera does in autofocus. So the first one on the list is the tracking shot. I'm going to do two different types of tracking shots, one simple pullout and one tilting down. For the regular pullout, you can either go with auto or manual. Since my camera is Canon and I have the tracking mode, I normally go with autofocus. But if you want to do manual, all you need to do is set your focus and just maintain your distance. Pretty easy so far, in this scenario there is no one setting that's better, it just depends on the camera. Next on the list is a wide angle shot on a real estate shot and a landscape shot. For the real estate, I recommend going manual. Set your focus on the subject, whether that's a dining table, a bed, a countertop, whatever. Set your focus, then do your simple pushing shot. Since you're in a wider focal length, almost everything is in focus. As for a landscape shot, it's slightly different, but not much. Since you're outside and you have more light, and you want everything to be in focus, I would bump up my aperture at f22. And all you have to do is focus on getting that smooth shot. Next on the list is getting detail shots. Again, I go back and forth on this. If I'm getting a simple parallax shot, then I will go autofocus. I just place my subject dead in the center and then I'll do my movement. But if I wanna add depth on my image by adding something in the foreground, then I switch it to manual because I don't want my focus to be switching back and forth in the middle of my shot. So there's no wrong or right answer. It just depends on the shot that you want to get. I always go back and forth. If my autofocus is acting up, I always switch to manual. You can get super creative by just pulling focus and you could even do like transitions. At the end of the day, it's what makes your job easier. If you want to make your videos more cinematic, I created six LUTs for Premiere Pro. They're only 10 bucks and I'll put the link in the description. If you learned something out of this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'm out.